castles in the far north of the mainland. So a little hazy sunshine to the castle of Maine, Caithness. But a cold day everywhere with temperatures of just eight Celsius and a brisk northeasterly wind. Thank God it isn't a bank holiday. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> Not bad for a beginner. Monita, I think there we see a new kind of rain by the Prince of Gales. <laughs> <laughs> Prince Charles's wife, Camilla, <laughs> Duchess of Cornwall, also took her turn with the same script. And actually, she did a pretty decent job as well. The visit by the Prince and the Duchess was meant to celebrate 60 years of BBC Scotland's TV broadcasting. So what does our own Mari Ramos make of that performance? And is oh his forecast he even correct? Mari, I mean, he, he was pretty good. I mean, should he replace you? Uh, well, I don't know. That's going to be up to the viewers, I guess. But Monita, i got to say one thing. Nobody has ever clapped when I'm done with my forecast. I gotta, I'm going to start there. So I'm going to, from now on, expect a little up. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Bravo, thank you. bravo. Thank you, thank you. That's the first thing. But actually, I thought he did pretty well. You know, he showed a lot of personality. He was clear when he spoke. And um, I li like the little things that he said. Oh, you know, who wrote that stuff? And, and things like that, you know. Just for the record, though, here yeah. at CNN, we're we not reading. We say that all the time. <laughs> yeah, I know. We're not reading the weather, though, okay? Uh, we're uh, just winging it, so to speak. No, I'm kidding. We're not winging it. We prepare ahead of time, and then we improvise as we're here on the air. That's why sometimes you'll hear us kind of change our mind about stuff and, and start um, talking. Uh, kind of like we're just talking, having a conversation. So nothing is scripted when, you, when it comes to weather. But anyway, um, yeah, that cold that he was talking about in the UK and across Scotland, he was right about that. There's a lot of uh, rain and drizzle and some brisk uh, wind also. There's even a little bit of... Um, uh, wintry precipitation coming along. So definitely a cool down in the forecast here. So let me try to live up to uh, uh, Prince Charles' weather forecast here, see if I can do any better. So what we're looking at over here is kind of going to be, again, more rain showers expected. It's still staying pretty dry as we head to areas to the south. But um, I think some of this will be reaching you later today, and that's going to bring you another cloudy kind of a wet day. We've had some strong storms, though, as we head over into the mainland here, and particularly back over as we head into Germany and back over toward Poland. And our strongest cells are right in here along this line. This is definitely going to be uh, something you want to watch out for some of these storms could be strong. Hail, maybe isolated tornadoes, not out of the question along this line right over here. Again, today we had that threat uh, posted since yesterday. It's pretty warm, too. Look at Berlin at 27, 25 in Warsaw, and 26 in Munich. Lenda, you're not doing too bad at 13, right? But remember Paris yesterday got up to 28 degrees? A little bit cooler today, that drier air starting to move in, so you've definitely had a change of weather. Now, if you're looking for that warm weather to continue, I got to tell you, across Central and Eastern Europe, that was pretty much short-lived. Also for you in France, we're going to start to see uh, the change there. So that short-lived uh, heat continues to move farther to the east and farther to the south. You'll really have to head all the way down to the Mediterranean and Portugal and Spain to really begin to see those temperatures uh, remain above average. Everybody else, I think, is going to have to break out the sweaters one more time, hopefully the, for the last time this year. Temperature cools down as we head into this weekend. How did I do? How did I do? Very okay. well. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the Just supporter of one, Mari. She isn't. <laughs> Thanks, uh -huh. so we love Shane. you. <laughs> Thanks, Mari. Sure, thank you, guys. You are watching World One live from London. I'm Monita Rajpal. And I'm Zane Vergy. Thanks a lot for joining us. Now, in just a moment, we're going to be returning to the inquiry into British press, press ethics, excuse me, where Rebecca Brooks is answering questions about her ties with the Prime Minister, present and former. Stay with CNN. <laughs> Thank you.